Hey everybody, it's Max back again. Sorry we're doing terrible camera stuff today. It's just me. Everybody's too busy here, so I've got to be my own camera guy. Right, this is uh, uh, going to be the video where we show you the steps to convert your bike to a bagger once your trunk is removed and our traction base brackets have already been installed. So what you'll get is a kit with a pair of brackets that look like this and this will be included in your kit. They are marked left and right. They have arrows pointing forward so it's, it's really self-explanatory. There's dowel pins on the parts that locate everything really precisely so it, it, it's, it's basically impossible to mess this up. These just interlock on the top of our base bracket with uh, two bolts and all this can be done from the top now. So I have the whole bike reassembled and if we were going from trunk, trunk style to trunkless, you would remove your side cover saddle, um, disconnect the electrical connectors, two bolts at the subframe, four bolts inside and your trunk is gonna come off, that's it. Now, uh, there's an adapter bracket that holds the trunk, and this is the adapter bracket I'm showing you that converts your bike to a bagger. If you want to have the support, Honda support bracket under it for your backrest or passenger backrest or for the little luggage rack they sell. So these two brackets just are bolted on with two Allens a piece. You will buy Honda's support bracket kit. It's $150. Um, extra uh, that sets up there <clears throat> you're gonna use four bolts and I've lost the tool give me one second and I'll be right back here I am I'm back already so we got four bolts that go in uh, they use a 12 millimeter head Leave them loose till you get all four bolts in, of course, using proper mechanic and skills here. This is awesome because I've never actually done this with our finished parts, so it's a good test. Get to watch live if we were having trouble. Um, let us know will supply you if you buy the support bracket kit you'll have everything you need including these rubber grommets uh, so you you'll find the holes are already in the plastic you just put these four rubber grommets in uh, that Honda will supply you um, and then you will get your painted part painted part lines up oops hang on I gotta take my little trim plates off these are the little decorative trim plates um, for after you have uh, installed the, the cover. So your trim plate goes on there. And this thing fits tight. Make no doubt about it. <clears throat> All right, then you have two little five millimeter Allens here that bolt the shelter to the support bracket. Not that this thing can fall off. I've got another video I'll show you that takes, shows you how much force it takes to take this off. So now if you want to install the Honda luggage rack, it goes here. Um, if you don't want to install that, uh, then you can just put these decorative trim pieces on. Uh, if you are using the passenger backrest, there's bolt holes under this. You would have already bolted it. The bracket would be sticking up. You snap the cover on. These are the decorative trim pieces that snap in. Snap, snap. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to scratch them getting them back out in a minute. And uh, there's two push pins here that uh, snap down into your passenger grab rails. And I don't have those on at the moment because I'm going to be converting this bike uh, back and forth um, for these um, instructional videos. So that's it. Your bike's a bagger now. Put your saddle back on and um, and off you go. Simple as that. Um, if you do have our passenger grab rails uh, on your bike, 
and you want to go from touring, we're selling a, a master kit that has uh, a shorter set of risers that brings the handles in closer and makes them look real sleek on the uh, on a standard bike or the bagger style conversion. So uh, that's all there is to that. Uh, here's the you know the finished kind of look there, and this is very very structurally rigid and, and ready to rock. So. I'm Max. Thanks for watching my videos. Again, I apologize for the camera work. No need to give me terrible comments on that. Ha ha ha. I know it's not great. Um, and we'll be back in a minute to show you how we're going to do the trunk portions of this uh, project. So looking forward to sharing that with you. Uh, don't forget to share these videos with your friends. And, um, and we will look forward to seeing you here shortly. Bye.